I think there's something on my head. Ginger Runner. What's up, everybody? Ethan Newberry here, the Ginger Runner, for another GingerRunner.com review. Today, my product is on my head. It is the Petzl Now headlamp with reactive technology. First of all, I think it's super important for any runner, both trail and road, to have some sort of headlamp in their arsenal, especially if you're doing night runs or night trail runs. It's by far the most crucial and important piece of gear you can have out there. Now, there are a ton of choices of headlamps out there. They all have different qualities. There's all different price points. And I've run on a handful of them. And one thing that I found is that you need to have a bright headlamp. You need to have something at least 100 lumens right around there for trail running or for road running if you need to see where you're going. It needs to be light. The battery needs to last a while. And most importantly, it needs to be comfortable. This particular headlamp has a lot of really cool features. Some of them are actually really innovative. Necessary? We'll find out. And for the most part, I really like it. There are a couple of qualms and they're pretty big qualms, so I'll get to those in a little bit as well. But again, for the most part, it's easy to use. It has a little switch on, medium, and off. The whole unit itself is basically three components. You have the headlamp up front, battery pack on the back, and the clip that attaches to the battery pack on the back. Very easy. I'm just gonna wear it thug style. Let's get on with the review for the Petzl now. And by the way, I'm gonna keep this thing on the entire time because it proves my first like that it's comfortable. I don't have to wear a buff or a bandana or a hat or anything like that. I can wear this headlamp just on my skin and it stays relatively comfortable. It doesn't flop around. It doesn't have any sort of weight discrepancies or anything like that. And while you're running on roads or trails, it stays on my head and doesn't bounce around. I like that, it's comfortable. Reactive lighting. Now this, the Petzl now is one of two headlamps that Petzl makes that has the new reactive lighting technology. This little sensor right up there sends a beacon of hope out into the wilderness and sends it right back to the headlamp and lets you know exactly how far you are from it, adjusting the brightness based off of the distance you're looking at. Real world scenario, you're reading a book or looking at a map close to your face, the headlamp stays dim. You're on the trail and you're looking very far ahead, boom, the headlamp goes full brightness. It's pretty cool technology and it totally works. Rechargeable, like I said, the headlamp is totally rechargeable. The battery pack on the back flips out, it's USB rechargeable, it makes it super easy, plug it into your computer, plug it into a wall charger, and the thing charges quickly. Saves a lot of money buying all those AAA or AA batteries they have to shove into a headlamp every three to five days. And with the added on battery indicator on the back, you know when your headlamp is running out of juice, you know when you need to plug it into your computer and charge it up, it's bright. We're talking 355 lumens, we're using the reactive lighting technology, which is just screaming bright. 315 lumens if you wanna do just the constant brightness, which you can adjust the headlamp to do as well. That also allows you to see super far, which is awesome, 108 meters using the reactive lighting technology and 94 meters if you're using just the constant light. Real world scenario, I used this at Cuyamaca 100K in those night sections when it was pitch black and it was in the middle of nowhere all alone, I could see forever on the trail. It felt like I had a sun sitting on my forehead facing the trail. It was great. I really, really loved running with this thing. By far the brightest headlamp that I have used. And that dovetails into my next like, distance. When you're using the reactive lighting technology where it's adjusting the space and distance time continuum, you can see up to 108 meters. That's far. And that is also adjustable. What do I mean by adjustable? Well, get this. There's an actual operating system by Petzl. This headlamp, you can plug into your computer and program to operate however you deem possible. It, it's amazing. You can tell it what distance you want things to be a certain brightness and what bright you want to have at certain distances. You can tell this headlamp what to do. It won't do your dishes. It won't grab you a beer from the fridge. It will give you a back massage. I think that's pretty cool. I think it's kind of neat to have an operating system that you can plug into a headlamp. My concern is that that's overkill, but there's a lot of people out there who just love to crunch numbers, crunch their data, and really get the most out of their equipment. And finally, it's water resistant. Anywhere that there are wires, batteries, connections, anything like that, it's all covered by little rubber grommets. It's totally water resistant. So when you're out there, in rain, moisture, fog, sweat. Doesn't bother it whatsoever and you don't have to worry about it. So that's it for likes. What about the things I dislike about the Petzl now? The reactive lighting. Now as much as I like it and I think it's totally awesome and innovative, it has some troublesome spots. For example, breath. If it's cold and breath comes up into the reactive sensor, guess what? The headlamp will dim. During the Koyamaka 100K race, that happened to me in those night sections when my breath would go up into the headlamp and the headlamp ends up pulsating depending on how thick the fog is in front of you. And in a race scenario, that is gonna play a major part in this headlamp success, battery life. Now there's varying levels of brightness that are automatically set for the reactive technology. If you do use the reactive lighting technology, you can get anywhere from four hours and 40 minutes to eight hours. I've actually averaged about five hours just by holding it on to full brightness with the reactive technology. That's fine, it's probably more than I'll ever need unless of course I'm running a 100 mile endurance race, in which case I probably will need all eight hours of nighttime 
daytime lighting, so I won't be able to utilize all of the brightness of the headlamp and get all of the battery power. I have to make a sacrifice on one end of the spectrum, which is kind of a disappointment. It's a bit heavy. It's 187 grams, and compared to some of the super cheap light headlamps that only get to about 80 or 100 lumens, this is a heavyweight. You're getting a lot more technology in the package, a lot more brightness, a lot more distance, but at what sacrifice for weight? Expensive. The Petzl now is anywhere from $140 to $179. Yeah, uh, the cheapest I've seen it is about $140, and even that is just like, that's a lot of money to spend on a headlamp. You're getting the OS system that you can adjust the headlamp with. You're getting a super bright 355 lumen headlamp. It only lasts a maximum of eight hours though. And it's kind of big and bulky compared to some of those lighter, cheaper options. So really it comes down to what you need. In fact, there's a brand new option to the table from Petzl called the Tika R Plus, which has the reactive technology as well. It's much cheaper, not nearly as bright, lighter, also rechargeable. Definitely want to check that one out as well. So all in all, it's a dynamite headlamp. Do not get me wrong. It's just very expensive and it has a couple of negatives. So you just have to make sure that you weigh all those options before you purchase. Regardless, let's get on with the point. Quality, I'm going to give it four out of five. It's a super stout quality headlamp. Obviously it's from Petzl. They're a renowned company that makes all sorts of mountaineering products. And this is no exception. It's dynamite. Comfort, again, four out of five. I had to dock them just because it is on the heavier side as far as headlamps go for me. Price, this is where I dock it. I give it two out of five. It's just an expensive headlamp. While it is definitely at the top of the line, it's just a lot of money to spend. Start saving your allowance, kids. That's also a lot of beer. And finally, looks. It's not really applicable, let's be totally honest, with the headlamp. But I'm gonna give it four out of five because you look like a badass when you wear the Petzl now. I, I think I look like a cool guy when I wear it, so four out of five. That brings our total to 14 out of 20. It's a pretty good score, but then again, there are a couple of issues that I have with the headlamp, but overall, it's a, a stout piece of gear. I really think it's one of the best headlamps that I have worn. And again, I want you to remember that I think this is one of the most important pieces of gear that you can have if you're doing any sort of late night runs on roads or trails. Cars need to see you. You need to see the terrain that you're on. So please, if you don't already have a headlamp, go get one. I don't care if it's a $20 piece of shit from Walmart. Just go get a headlamp make sure that you're safe. In the comments below, let me know, have you guys used any headlamps that you are like, this is the best headlamp in the world? Because right now in my mind, I'm thinking Petzl makes some of the best stuff. This is definitely one of them. Have you guys worn it? Have you guys touched it, felt it, rubbed it? What do you guys think of the Petzl now? Let me know in the comments below. That is it for today's review. Hope you guys like it. If you did, please like, favorite, and share it. Sharing it is definitely the one thing that helps my channel grow and grow and grow. Don't forget, I'm on all the social networks. You can find me on Twitter, at The Ginger Runner. Over on Facebook, facebook.com slash The Ginger Runner. On Instagram, I'm posting photos of all my runs, races, all that good stuff, at Ethan Newberry. And of course, you can find me at gingerrunner.com, where all my race reports, reviews, and blogs, and all that stuff are right over there for your consumption. I apologize, I'm a little sick. I hope you guys didn't notice. In the meantime, I hope you guys are getting out there training hard, racing harder, and partying hardest, because that's what I'm doing. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Woo!